Meet Andrew and Judy. Andrew is the owner of an IT consulting firm in Washington, D.C. and is 52 years old. Judy is a pediatric nurse in Bethesda, Maryland, and she's 50 years old. They have two children, Cindy, 17, and Mike, 14. Andrew founded his IT consulting business from scratch almost 10 years ago after leaving corporate America. The business does a lot of subcontracting to the private sector and to the federal government. He has 20 employees, mostly 20-something recent college graduates. He has identified one potential employee who could take over should something happen to him. Andrew's company's gross revenue is about $5 million per year. His net income after paying all business expenses is $800,000 per year. Judy makes $125,000 per year as a pediatric nurse. Andrew and Judy own their own home in Bethesda, Maryland. The home is valued at $1.5 million. They have $500,000 left on their mortgage, and they recently refinanced at 2.5% for 15 years. They also have a second home, which is a condo on the Delaware shore. The condo is valued at $500,000. They have $300,000 left on the mortgage, and they also recently refinanced at 2.5% for 15 years. Of their investable assets, they have $2.1 million in 401ks and IRAs, including Andrew's current 401k worth $500,000, his 401k from his previous employer worth $1 million, and Judy's 403b plan worth $600,000. They also have a total of $1.8 million in taxable accounts, including $1 million in money market funds and $800,000 in various stocks. Additionally, they each have $2 million of life insurance in level term policies. And they have saved $100,000 for each child in 529 college savings plans. Andrew has no disability insurance, but Judy does through her job, which provides 60% of her income should she become disabled. They do not have long term care insurance. As small business owners, Andrew and Judy's financial concerns are most easily defined by splitting them into two categories, business and personal. On the personal side, they would like to retire in five years. Both Andrew's business and Judy's hours are stressful. They would like to reduce their taxes if possible, as Andrew takes home a lot of after-tax income. They would like to review their personal insurances, including life insurance, disability, and property and casualty. While they have done a good job of saving for their children's education so far, they would like to find out how much more they need to save to send their children to private universities. They would like to review Judy's benef benefits to see if Andrew can take advantage of being a dependent on Judy's plan. They would like to review their current estate plan and potentially update it. They also want to make sure that their investment allocation is correct, as well as simplifying what they have. Everything is spread out all over the place, and they're not sure that they're allocated according to their needs. On the business side, they would like to review all of the retirement plans that are available to the business and make sure they're in the right option. They currently have a 401k with, with profit sharing. They would like to review their business insurances, including their group health insurance. And since they would both like to retire in five years, they would like to begin preparing the business for a sale, including coming up with a succession plan and cleaning up the income statement and balance sheet. In addition to that, they would like to get a business valuation now to know what the possible selling price would be in five years. While they have an accountant, they would like a referral to a more sophisticated accountant who can help them tackle some of these issues on both the personal and business side. With so many complicated issues surrounding their business's financial concerns, Ivy League suggested a team of people to help them address it all. With Ivy League financial advisors at the center of the team, the other team members we suggested were an accountant, an insurance expert, a business valuation expert, a corporate benefits expert, a retirement plan specialist, and a business attorney. The accountant helped us to, to determine a strategy to begin cleaning up the income statement and balance sheet to make the company more attractive to a potential buyer. The insurance expert conducted an insurance review to make sure that Andrew was covered for all potential liabilities. The business valuation expert came up with a reasonable valuation of Andrew's business both now and in five years for a possible sale. 
The corporate benefits expert determined a comprehensive strategy for corporate benefits, which included incorporating personal and group policies for the best outcome of life, disability, and long-term care insurance. The retirement plan specialist determined, after an internal census was conducted, that it would benefit Andrew greatly to install a cash balance defined benefit plan, otherwise known as, an, as a pension plan, on top of the company's 401k to save more money in a tax-deferred manner. The business attorney developed a buy-sell agreement with Andrew's potential successor and funded it with Keyman Life Insurance to make sure that Judy would get the value of the company in case Andrew died premature, prematurely. On the personal side, we started by working with them to develop a comprehensive financial plan, especially focusing on looking at their current cash flow needs and funding for their various goals. We determined the range on how much they would need to save annually to fund their retirement, especially if they want to retire early. We also determined how much of that retirement was dependent on Andrew selling his business. We then ran multiple options to test worst case scenarios of their retirement plans. From there, we developed and implemented a diversified asset allocation plan, which supports their financial planning goals. This included incorporating their taxable and tax deferred accounts into a tax efficient portfolio, as well as putting their idle cash or their money market fund to better use. We also accompanied them to work with an estate planning attorney to review their documents. For Andrew and Judy, their, docu their documents needed to be redrawn. The reworked documents included new wills, a revocable living trust, durable powers of attorney, and advanced medical directives. We implemented the estate plan by retitling the accounts and changing the beneficiary designations of their retirement savings accounts and life insurance policies. We also worked to retitle assets in the revocable trust structure, especially the condo in Delaware, to avoid probate in that state. Special emphasis here was on reducing potential estate taxes given the amount Andrew expects to sell his company for in five to six years. And lastly, we determined how much they would need to save annually to ensure that they could properly fund their children's education, whether it was private or public. We helped them set up automatic deposits into 529 college savings plans to simplify the process. As small business owners, Andrew and Judy know that their financial future can be quite complicated, but in working with Ivy League financial advisors, they finally have peace of mind and can rest easy knowing that their business and personal financial goals are working together to get them to where they want to be. They are pleased to be on track for retirement in a few years, have their estate plan finally in place and working for them, have their children's educational savings on track, and to know that their corporate structure and benefits are working for them and for their employees. They couldn't have done it all without a step-by-step -step plan from Ivy League financial advisors.